Hello again guys, how is it going? It is Fake Arrow coming at you once again with a No Legends of Runeter video and today I've got this new deck to share with you guys. I was actually a bit stumped on ideas for what deck to play. So I started scouring the internet, come across a Zoe Heimerdinger. There's actually a player by the name of Kuvira who had also made a list I wasn't aware of, but got that information not too long after. Cool concept, just a very greedy control deck. You outgrind your opponent, you know, it's the type of gameplay I like. Um, in this current meta, it's pretty hard to play some off-meta stuff because competing with Gohard is very awkward and it only allows very certain strategies to exist in such a meta game. But however, Zoe Heimerdinger is just kind of one of those off-meta decks that can, you know, it probably will suffer some losses to Gohard, but it is a deck that can ultimately, you know, uh, grind them out with certain celestials and invoking and just outvaluing with Heimerdinger depending on how fast they find their pack their bags or uh, whatnot. The list was a ton of fun. If you want to give it a go yourself, the link is going to be in the description below. Is this a deck I could recommend that you climb with? Maybe not, but it's not exactly going to net you a ton of losses. I think you could actually win a few games with this deck. Um, if you're kind of getting burnt out playing some really, uh, you know, full-on meta decks give this a go it's very refreshing the gameplay is cool um you know playing Heimdinger is a lot of fun flash of brilliance all that kind of stuff this gets out of control and you actually could just can win and it does punish some of the other decks except for go hard just with the strict amount of value ton of fun guys don't forget to leave a like if you're new here consider subscribing let's go over a few games okay let's experiment with uh Heimdinger Zoe I'll work off the list I saw. Maybe I'll just play a list as it is for now and see how it feels. Fakey, change the title too. What's the title? What's the stream title at the moment? Isn't it just like Nightfall Heimerdinger? Title's fine. It's Nightfall. I, I updated it just after I started to put in Heimerdinger as well. Yeah, I changed it just after I started. Wait. What the hell are the chances that I would face another Heimerdinger Zoe? Dude. This is not... This is not where I want to be right now. I don't want to be playing mirror matchups with decks I don't understand. Okay. I guess keeping Heimerdinger is going to be fantastic then. Also, Mystic Shot. Actually, this entire hand looks good. Probably not Sparkle Fly. I doubt we have similar lists. He probably has a more competitive list than mine. As I'm not sure of the rank of the player who created this deck. But it was intriguing. Keep Sparkle. bit late for that now. When I play Hecarim Plaza, almost 60% get mirror matchup. Then, maybe don't play Hecarim Plaza. <laughs> um, I can- I literally can't play anything here. Ah, okay, let's assume that we're playing similar decks and his answers to protect this a sun blessed vigor. I'm probably just gonna open up with a mystic shot here. I'm down with triple mystic shotting this. Okay, that worked. Okay, we're not playing Lunari Priestess. What would what would he cut to play Lunari Priestess? He's probably not playing like give it all. So maybe we'll assume that. <laughs> Don't play Hecarim Plaza, makes sense. No, it depends what your goals are. If your goals are to climb, then it's a very good deck to climb. If your goals are to have more fun and maybe not get mirror matchups, then yeah. I think Lunari Priestess doesn't seem necessary for this deck either, no. We've already seen similar Heimerdinger lists not play cards like that. I don't see how Zoe would make it any different. Not a good card, not very consistent. I think in a deck like this, you just want solid cards, like Solari Priestess is really good. But then after that, Heimerdinger is your value engine. And I'm also going to play mine now, by the way. 
We could also pass. Passing just plays around um cards. I guess he caved. He decided to play something. All of a sudden, I can play my Heimdinger now. What seems to be the problem? Trickster never loses because Zoe makes the roses. He's already attacked too, hasn't he? So we can pass now. Raise all allies power and health. Yeah, I don't think we need to be playing that right now. This is something that we play later. I'm just gonna sunburst this. I just started playing this season today, almost at diamond with um Plaza Hecker. No! I've been outplayed here, guys. I've been outplayed. Now I have a choice whether I clear the Zoe or whether I protect the Heimendinger. And I'm pretty sure it's always protect protect the Heimendinger, right? I want to protect the Heimendinger, I feel. I guess we can always do this, so yeah. Yeah. Kill the buff to Zoe. We've got some pretty good value tools in our hand. Yeah, I like protecting the... We get wrecked by um Mystic Shot, don't we? Oh well. Yeah, we got some pretty, we got some pretty good uh, value here. Yes, yes, again. A sturdy construction. Yeah. It won't be hard for us to deal with it. Yeah, it's not going to be hard for us to deal with the Zoe. It's just like, will will he be able to flip it before that happens? Oh, I kind of want to play this this turn, guys. You vibing? Everything will be tough. You reckon I gotta keep the Bastion mana because of this? Maybe you're right. Let's go for the flipped. I'm just gonna use a mystic shot here. I'm not too sure what else to do, but it's a pretty soft way of passing. The mystic shot just represents a soft pass. Okay, I'm gonna actually mystic shot again here. I'm gonna try and get him to play cards. So I guess now I can just hush, right? Is that worth it? I guess he won't be able to kill my Heimendinger, if so. I'm not really sure what that achieved. That just seemed really pointless. A sturdy construction. It's smaller than the diagram. Oh, I'm totally going for the give it all next turn, guys. I think this is just the jam. 
the worst that happens is my Heimerdinger gets cleared, right? And then everything becomes elusive and stuff. Whoa. That looks kind of pog. No! Oh well. They have fearsome, don't forget. <laughs> they might as well be elusive. That's hype. I guess I'll protect the Donga, so I won't swing with the Donga. Reconsider. Is this, what you see? Wait, this deck's nuts. This deck seems good. I've never actually seen Give It All be that fantastic before, but that felt pretty strong. This is competitive memory. Okay, he's playing a completely different list than what we are. He's playing a completely different list. Why do we even need Zoe? What do I think about this turn? I have an elusive blocker. Some burst is kind of just pretty good. You could also just pog his day. You could also pass. Passing seems fun. Kill Zoe for fun. All right, Defense Minister. I got you, fam. I'm actually thinking about Each journey is a discovery. replacing the fearsome torrent here. Actually, groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> yeah, we passed. We passed creative. We took the correct line, but the defense minister said that we should kill Zoe for fun. So I ultimately decided I would kill Zoe for fun because me, me, uh, me wardrobe got mostly white shirts. There's, there's actual legitimate reasons for why I wear a lot of white shirts. Because at work, I wear white shirts too. Wait, we can beat the Go Hard deck, right? We can beat the Go Hard deck, right? I don't think I play Zoe turn one if I have some blessed figure though. Unless it develops. I pull the string. Okay. Reality is just your mind crumbling under what it doesn't understand, silly. Skitter out from the darkness. I could actually be cheesy and block here. I actually don't dislike it. I think HP is a bit of an important resource, and I do have guiding touch as well. <gasps> Are we gonna go hard this? Guess not. Um yeah, we'll open attack here. True story, guys. Defense Minister was a subscriber before he was a follower. Now that's um, that's Pog. Thanks, man. <laughs> I 
Now, what are we thinking here? I'm probably just gonna like pass. Probably just go super cool star chart, just a soft pass here a little bit. Oh yeah, I'll take moon glow. You're always in the recommended bar anyway. Anyway, really? Hell yeah, he's living in 2030. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Do I bait him into developing? Like, How much resources should I actually use with Zoe at the moment? I think if that's it, that's it, right? I don't think I go, I don't think I go much deeper into the Zoe train. Oh, hell yeah. I'll deny him card draw. I think that's good. He seems to be using the Darius emote a lot of times. Never lost a fair game. Eyes open. Yeah, thanks for the support, Defense Minister. <laughs> Thinking I might just open attack here. Another way of soft passing. Okay, let's actually play the super cool star chart. Uh, Moon Silver's probably going to be the useful card here. We can just keep passing. Just until he overextends us a little bit. Maybe he'll play like pick a card or something and that would be a really good punish. Oh. Maybe we'll just Mystic Shot. Hopefully no glimpse beyond number two. What did they nerf about Riptide Rex? I'm sort of new to the game and thought he looked like such a fun card when I first started a couple of weeks ago. Uh, believe me, uh, Dope Throne, he never used to be a, uh, he never used to be as fun. <laughs> he used to be quite um, strong. Uh, so he used to be a 8 mana 8-4 eight, and he would deal 7 randomly split. And that was just really strong. The 7th seventh, the seventh, uh, barrel was really strong. <sighs> now he's a cool card, but he used to be really strong. He used to be really strong. And then he was like, kind of strong. And then he was just like, that. It was nothing. Albon Dumbo, redeem the hydrate. I think we may have got a few hydrates. I haven't been paying attention, guys. I'm sorry. Hey, Milky Way, how are you, man? Oh, it's a seven four. Wasn't it eight four? I've forgotten now. Was he a 7-4 or an 8-4? I think he was a 7 -4. Yeah, it was a 7-4. No, 8-4. Guys, I've forgotten. Yeah. 7-4. Okay, he was an 8 mana 7-4. What seems to be the problem? You're lame. This gives us a pretty easy way of flipping um, Zoe though. The Tyrants kind of act as like a very cheap activator for it. like just play the hush no I think hush would be too good for other cards I'm fine man 
What's up with you? Not much. I've been I've been working a lot. I've been working a tremendous amount. So what what things don't I want? I don't think challenger really matters. Maybe it does. No. I guess fearsome tough just seems better, right? Like I, I can actually stop the Zoe from dying to the pack your bags now. That's really good. Oh, and he lost the Rumination. Okay, I'm thinking I'm just going to open attack here, right? This is, this is not fearsome. I don't get what the thing is. I'm just gonna swing. You pay first. Yeah, I miss Riptide Rex. Wait, I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue as the serpent. Should I just have like a slow turn where I, where I just like remove some of his field? I can kind of go like three, two, one. It's a really slow passive turn. It's got four cards in hand. Gohard is still fine in my eye. It loses to Nopify. Yeah. Strictly, that's the only thing that hard counters it, right? Everything else is like... Everything else is kind of like... Meh. I'm going to take the Great Beyond here, try and end the game. Before you find Zap Sprayfin. I think he's got the Pack Your Bags. Nope. Lucky us. Ooh, actually, if I can make it to the Great Beyond, we just win. Ooh. I think I take that pass every time. Every time, right? Oh, yeah. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Nothing to talk about here. Just play this. I'm representing lethal damage. I've got the challenger as well, in case he plays an elusive unit. I think he just loses now, doesn't he? I don't think Vile Feast even gets the healing. Yep, we've done it. We did it, guys. We won another game with Zoe Heimendinger. There's a there's a certain amount of there's a certain amount there's like a you know there's like those like balance scale things where like it's kind of like you know pleasing the like pleasing the fans and then like this is just like kind of having a like really like healthy meta environment it's gonna be like some sort of like balance between like seeing this deck too much and like can it still just be around doing what it does and like if we get rid of it too soon are people gonna be also disappointed we're coming into that point where i think the deck has just been around for a little bit too long and it's been doing kind of just a little bit too good Sometimes balance and decks sometimes just get changed because of the, uh, to change. 
it's not always about balance. Sometimes it's just about change as well. Like players, high level players might not have an issue with go hard because we can, you know, we can have answers to it. We can like build certain decks to beat it. But casual players, you know, want to play a wide variety of decks and go hard doesn't allow you to play the widest range of decks right now. It, it is very strong, very, very strong. So yeah, at least we have the answers. We versed this guy before and we got run over really hard, but this time we've got a much nicer hand. I think I kept time winning her against him last time. That was probably a mistake. But Gohard is the most strongest balanced deck to ever be created. I don't know if it's balanced, but it is a really good deck. It was really cool for a bit. I think TF Swain is a good example of a balanced deck, actually. I think TF Swain in the past was actually... Like, you, you would face that deck a lot, but you would never feel the same way as you do when you face Gohard, if that makes sense. Surely we can kind of agree on that. Like, I, I remember that meta where TF Swain was just dominant, but I, I never really was concerned. I am concerned about Go Hard though. Just because of its um presence. Yes, that it is. That is it. Thank you. Stop playing the game because of the amount of go hard I saw in EU Masters. Well, you won't be my friend? I'll come over there right now, binge you over, and suck a fart out your butthole. Only thing unbalanced about it was the fact that pack your bags was one mana. So do you think if pack your bags was more expensive, it would be more balanced? Could be. It could be the issue we need to fix. I mean, we were talking about it earlier. I guess that one mana, it is pretty efficient. I don't think I ever tank this much damage, right? Yo, the official TV. How are you, my dude? How are you, bro? The thing is that we remember getting smacked by one mana, not by three. I see Hyperdeck. I drop a follow. I'm a simple man. Thank you for the follow, man. Thanks for popping in. Coming in at a good time. Didn't know what to play today. Started scouring the internet. All right, next turn looks pretty simple. Let's play Heimendinger. Probably play Pale. Make stuff happen. Never saw this give it all version. Now I'm intrigued. Yes. I will say, dude, this guy's nuts. I will say that um, this is not really, you know, a deck I had thought of. It's smaller than a diagram. It's not a deck I had thought of. Yeah, one man at clears are very strong. Does he have Darius too? Wow. This guy, this guy almost had me guys. He almost, he almost had us, but not quite. Now we're gonna smoke him actually. We've just killed him next turn. Unless he has like static shock. Actually, we're not pushing lethal damage. Pardon me. Pardon me. Unless I find pale cascade. He 
his, his hand could just be spells as well. Developing is probably going to be the general play this turn. Can I flip? I guess I'm flipping. Uh... If I'm not killing him this turn, then I should probably develop. If he has another copy of Use Cask Salesman, that's going to bum us out. That's going to be his really good play here. Hey, I finally optimized that Riven Tarek deck. And it's pretty good on ladder. That is spicy. Am I going smoke mode? Oh yeah, we're going smoke mode. Well, you won't be my friend. I'll come over there right now, binge you over, and suck a fart out your butthole. Yo, ho. pink bait, pink bait. You'll have to send me the list official TV. Now we'll have a look at it. I can I can smoke him or I can force him to block with the armored stomper, right? Man, I hope he's dead here. He has to block the startled stomper. Mystic shot's gonna <laughs> make me kind of sad. Unplayable. Not so fast. Haha. <laughs> I'm the smoker now, man. I think I need Equinox. Okay. Wow. Um Crescent Strike actually might be the play. Just in case of a third Darius. Can you imagine a third Darius? I'm gonna play around third Darius. I'm gonna grab the Crescent Strike. Thank you, official. I can imagine you saw his opening. Uh, what do you mean, Defense Minister? G to the G, Milky Way. I'm uh, my man. <laughs> 